day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with the final lesson in our Tinkercad playground. I've got a challenge for you, so let's get cracking. Friends, if you've made it to this point, you've completed three awesome lessons. You should have a swing, a slide, and a teeter-totter. Now your challenge is to use those skills and create the next attraction at your park on your own. This is where you get to have fun and use all the skills I've given you to make something that you think would be a total blast at a playground. If you happen to miss any of those earlier lessons, I will have cards up above that you can click on and get back to those lessons in an instant. Of course, you can also visit hlmodtech.com, click the link to Tinkercad, and check out the Tinkercad multi-part projects that I've created for you. The design you create, I'm really flexible on, but it does have to have a few key components. You need to have at least 10 parts assembled in it, and they have to be touching. Uh, notice all these little pieces that we added, they are touching the other parts, so they're actually physically possible. You're proving that you have some design skills. You should use nudge, you should use the work plane, you should have some pieces where you cut things out like we did on the teeter-totter, or when we cut the bottom of the swing so it was flat. Now you can go crazy and have many, many cool things. You can look up the video for how to add rotation to your teeter-totter. You can see what that ring does is it allows me to move the teeter-totter with the sweet little rotation handle so it actually looks like it's animated. You can do a quick Google search to see what kind of playground equipment is most popular. You can use any of the cool pieces as you're building to make it look as realistic as possible. You can see here I added a cool sign to mine. You can add one to yours. Do make sure that you've got your playground named so that it's easier to keep track of if you decide to add more epic things later. When you feel like it's done and you have your fourth attraction, you can go to the top of this and actually add a character. I'm going to put the work plane up here real quick. And I'm going to go to characters and I'm going to just bring out the awesome little dude, Blanky, and drop him in. Notice he's a little larger than you want. Don't forget we've got that awesome skill called Shift Squish. And we can bring him down to the size where he could actually ride our slide. Then you can zoom in, decorate him, add all the little parts that make him more awesome. Real quickly, I'm going to give him a sneaker. Once again, Shift Squeeze to shrink it down. I'm going to use Fit View to zoom in. So I am also just showing you these skills once again. I'm going to flip this so the shoe is aimed the right way. I can attach it to his little leg. Once again, that little shift squeeze to make it so it's the right size. Change your nudge. All these are important things for as you're trying to solve this project. And I'm going to do control D so he has two of those. And you could actually create an entire custom outfit for this little dude called Blanky. I'll do control up to raise him up, nudge him forward one. And then once you're happy with where he is, then you should do shift click, shift click, and shift click to group those parts so they stay together. If you lose your multicolor, then simply go back to this button and connect it again. So friends, I'm going to set my work plane down to the ground and I just want to emphasize there is a ton of room for you to make this unbelievably epic. When you are done with it, if you want to show me what you created, you can always hit the send to button and you can go down here and invite people and generate a link. You can share that link with me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. I am HL Mod Tech on all of those. I've also got a new Twitter account called HL Tankercad that you can find as well. Lastly, you can send them to me at Gmail. I am HL Mod Tech on Gmail as well. Friends, there is so much room for you to have fun with this and make it totally incredible. If you did have fun with it, please hit that like button. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.